Mm. Liam lives with me, his mum, Carl, his dad and our dog Scooby. His older brother Jason has just left home to go to university. This was a very emotional time for us all, but Liam seems to be coping well with it. He wrote Jason a lovely good luck letter uh, for him to take with him. He's very close to his grandparents who live nearby and he rings them at least five times a day for a quick chat. He loves his two cousins and his auntie and uncle who he sees often. Liam normally gets up in the morning between eight and nine, but on school days, I have to wake him up about seven. He's not a very sociable person in the morning. He just gets on, on with everything that needs to be done. His minibus picks him up about 7.40 to take him to his post-16 setting, which he really enjoys. He loves the staff and has some really great friendship groups there. He studies maths, English and life skills and has recently passed an entry-level functional skills maths exam. He gets dropped off home around 3.45, which gives him just enough time for a quick snack and drink before he's off to one of his many activities. These include dancing, drama, bike riding, driving lessons and horse riding. He was due to represent Team GB in the equestrian events at the Special Olympics in August this year. It was sadly cancelled because of the pandemic, which was a real shame. He has an hour's driving lesson each week and he's doing really well with this. I'm not sure that he will ever be able to pass the theory test, but our plan is to buy him a little car and let him drive us around using his L plates. He has a season ticket at Bramall Lane, where he watches his beloved Sheffield United. In any spare time he has at home, he likes to play with his toy cars, watch YouTube or play on the Xbox. And he generally goes to bed around 9pm. Liam's biggest challenge has always been around communication. He has verbal dyspraxia, which makes it difficult for him to make the precise articulatory movements which are needed to produce clear speech. In the past, he used to get very frustrated and upset if people couldn't understand what he was saying but he has now developed his own strategies to help him. These usually include writing it down, drawing it, or if he's telling me something that has happened at school, he will often act it out. Lim is a very loving and caring young man. He is very strong-willed and competitive, and his, this will for independence, I am sure, has helped him achieve a lot of his milestones. He is always up for a challenge and loves to prank people. Liam is represented by a model and acting agent and has just recently been filmed for a BBC drama series. Liam loves being the centre of attention in front of a camera where he really comes to life. Overall, Liam is a very confident, outgoing young man, but can be shy at times. A good friend of mine once said that everyone knows Liam has Down syndrome except Liam, which I think is very apt. Having Down syndrome hasn't defined who Liam is or what he can achieve, and we as a family have supported him and not used Down syndrome as an obstacle to prevent him succeeding. Liam is a very happy young man who just happens to have an extra chromosome. Yeah. Yeah.